Welcome back to part 7 of our basic to advanced floor plan mini series. Enjoy the video. So the next thing I'm going to do is add some colour to the concept plan. So you do have different categories of rooms and spaces. So for instance, I could categorise them as bedrooms. Then I could categorise it as rec rooms. I could categorise the kitchen as a standalone and then also the living slash dining room as a standalone as well. So to do the colours, I'm going to go to the architecture tab and then the room and area panel, there's a little drop down. If you select that drop down, you can go to colour schemes and this is where you can create your colour scheme for your plan. So what I'm going to do is just rename that to by room type and then this is automatically depending on department. So this is the field that we need to fill in this information. And then I'm just going to add values. So I'm just going to hit the plus. And then I'm going to call this one bedroom. And then the plus again, rec room, main living area. Now, if you're happy with the colors that Revit gives you as default, you can just leave everything as is. If not, you can always go into this color button here and then select your own values for your RGB or use a Pantone color. I'm quite happy with these colors, so I'm just going to leave it as is. And then I'm going to hit OK. Now to get this onto our concept view, you're going to go to annotate. And then to the right hand side here, you're going to go to use this color fill legend. And then once you select that, you can place that onto the view. And then that's automatically going to populate the view once we've entered the information for the department. So let's select the rooms for the bedrooms. One, two, three. And then with all three selected, I'm going to go to the properties, scroll down to department, and then I'm going to change the department to bedroom and then hit apply. And that automatically gives them some colors. Let's do that for the other rooms now. So now all of these are colored and this is automatically driven by the information within the rooms themselves. So if I select a room, again, you scroll down in the properties and you have this department is filled in by main living area. Now you can filter by any of these categories, but to make things easier, it's probably best in the domestic situation to use department. Now there's one thing we're going to do to this concept plan just to jazz it up a bit and that is to actually copy over some of those labels that we did earlier. So let's go back to our detail plan and let's do the selection and filter by tags, copy and then paste align to current view. So one last thing I'm going to do is add some dimensions. So under the annotate tab, I'm going to go to aligned and then I'm going to make sure that the reference plane is going to be the wall faces. And then I'm going to do the exterior dimensions. So I'm going to do from outside edge to outside edge. And it's much easier if you have that selected as wall faces. So now that I've done the external dimensions, I'm just going to select one. And I'm just going to change the gap distance between the dimension and the element it's dimensioning. So I'm just going to go to edit type. Then I'm going to scroll down to witness line gap to element. So at the minute it's set to 1.5 millimeters. I'm going to change that to 3.5 millimeters. Hit apply. And then that seems to be a little bit better. For dimensions such as this location here, I'm just going to pull that back so it lines up more so with what's going on along that dimension screen. And the same for this one here. I'm just going to pull that back to line up with there. That seems to work out much better. So let's dimension everything else.
And that's the end of the video. Be sure to check out the other parts to this basic to advanced floor plan mini series. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more regularly released Revit content. I'll see you in the next one.